write the electronic configuration of Na plus ion and Cl minus ion. So Na plus ion is a cation since it is positively charged particle. Cl minus ion is an anion because it is negatively charged particle. So before going into the electronic configuration of these two ions, we need to know what could be the electronic configuration of sodium atom and chlorine atom. So sodium atom has no charge on it because it is a neutral particle. When do we call a particle neutral? When the positive and the negative charges in it are equal. So sodium's atomic number when I write Z which is atomic number which gives us the information about number of protein protons. So sodium has got 11 protons similarly chlorine has got 17 protons whose atomic number is 17 so we start filling electrons into first second shell, third shells and so on so in the first shell you find only one s subshell its capacity is 2 so 1s2 is the configuration then after filling 1s we go to 2s 2s also has the capacity of 2 then we enter into 2p which has the capacity of 6 electrons so until here in the first shell there are 2 electrons here if you fill 6 in this the capacity is 8 2 plus 8 is 10 we are still left with one more electron since the atomic number is 1 11 then the electron enters into third shell s subshell and we fill it with only one electron so this is the outermost electron for sodium and the total electronic configuration is this so overall the configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 1 now look at chlorine neutral atom now there are 17 electrons so we again start with the 1s which has 2 electrons capacity then we go for 2s 2 2p 6 so until here again 2 and 8 altogether 10 are done we are still remain uh, left with 7 more electrons so we get 3s2 then then comes 3p so if you fill 6 electrons directly into 3p altogether 2 plus 8 plus 8 18 electrons we are going to get but we have only 17 so we need to fill here 5 so this will be now 3p 5 altogether 7 so 2 comma 8 comma 7 is 17 electrons now for chlorine this will be the outermost electronic configuration or we can also call it as valence configuration but we don't need for sodium and chlorine neutral atom instead we want it for the cation and anion of it so from a neutral atom let us consider x as a neutral atom from a neutral atom when we remove electron we are going to get a cation to the neutral atom when you add electron we are going to get a negatively charged particle so same thing you can apply for sodium and chlorine also here and when you want to remove electron or add an electron you should not look at 1s 2s 2p or whatever inner shell electrons are there you should not look at them only the outermost shell is our concern so in sodium it is 3s in case of chlorine it is 3p so we need to remove an electron from sodium to get the sodium ion configuration so from sodium we remove electron to get Na plus so electron has to be removed from 3s okay 3s subshell so the configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 now this is said to be the neon configuration which is an inert gas and it is stable now now here in case of chlorine we add an electron to convert it into negatively charged particle then 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 is the electronic configuration now this is the configuration of argon which is another inert gas configuration so sodium plus and cl minus ion by rele uh, by releasing electron and by gaining electron can show inert gas configuration can become stable
थैंक यू